Hi, I'm Alana G. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I just wanted to share some things that I had delivered that I purchased at Everlane um, two videos ago. I spoke about the fact that Everlane's alpaca sweaters are my favorite sweaters, and they had a little sale. So I ordered a few sweaters and I think I got some other things and a pair of shoes and they arrived so I wanted to share them. Also, I just wanted to let you know that I was looking into alpaca versus cashmere because I used to collect cashmere sweaters, ones that I thrifted, ones that I found new, all different colors because they were so warm and so soft and then I found alpaca. And I found that alpaca is really, really soft and warm as well. And I was wondering, you know, what the real differences between these two fabrics are, besides the fact that they come from different animals. Obviously, cashmere comes from a cashmere goat, and uh, alpaca comes from an alpaca. Um, but I found in my reading that alpaca might be the more sustainable fabric and I say fabric not wool because there's a whole thing about that anyway I need to do some more learning and then I'll come back and I'll tell you about my findings but for now I'm just going to share what I purchased and hopefully you can go to Everlane and you can find similar items if you're interested so first up is this gray and it's like a waffle textured knit and it is alpaca. See, it's like somewhat sheer, so it's like a lightweight knit, really good for fall. And it's in a nice warm gray color. Um, the price is not on here, and I don't remember right now how much I paid for it. I think it was 50% off. These sweaters usually go for like $100 a pop, which I think is really good considering how soft they are. Like I said, very comparable to cashmere. And I believe these colors, because they have sales on the colors, were 50% off, so for 50 bucks. So I'm gonna back up here in my kitchen where I'm filming lately. Yeah, it's really cute. Um, you know, just your regular sweater, but so warm and so soft. I wish that I could let you feel this like through the monitor. I don't know how to translate the softness of this, but it is so soft, such a good quality sweater. I have several of them in other colors that I purchased before that are not part of this haul and some that were gifted to me and I am addicted. So if you can get your hands on just one, it's definitely worth it. Next up, this oxblood color. I think a really great color for fall. This is a really great color for fall as well. Um, I'm wearing this kind of like gold hued dress, kind of looks like a raw silk, but it's not. It's from Anthropology. I got it on sale. This, I think, would even layer well on a dress like this. So, let's see. How was your day? Filming this on Wednesday in October. The weather is nice. I had a great day, but um, I don't even know if I can stand. You know what? I'm gonna get something to stand on. I'll be right back. So, hopefully this will help. I can show outfit. So, isn't this cute? Like, with a belt, with like a proper belt. You know, a thicker belt. I love sweaters because I wear a lot of dresses and I feel like you can always just put a sweater over your dress, um, you know, wear some boots or wear some sneakers, you can get a belt that's, that works well, this is not working, <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing, it was a thought, it was a thought, take this belt out. You know, but really, ideally, if you have like a nice thick leather belt, something like uh, even that Valentino belt that a lot of people have been wearing, it's just really cute. You know, pop some beads on, some jewelry on, and then like change up the arms, and this works. I love this. A 
lot. And again, this is that waffle kind of, you see, and it's quite sheer, but not so sheer that you like completely see. So I think it would be fine to wear this with just a bra underneath. And, um, you know, if you are really concerned about modesty, you can always wear a little um, chemisole. Then I have two more, one in this like blush pink kind of color. And these are mediums. Um, actually, not all of them. I think maybe the first one. Yeah, the first two I got in size small. So that was the small. And this is a medium, which is nice because it lends itself to like less tailored looks, um, you know, like a slouchy pair of jeans or some sweatpants, this and some cute sneakers and some jewelry. It makes a really comfy outfit. Oh, and this is like a one-off. This is like the first time I've ever purchased their alpaca sweater, but in short sleeves. So I feel like this is a really nice piece for um, the time of year that it is now. Very transitional clothing. You know, time for very transitional pieces. It's short sleeve. You can throw on a jean jacket over and you still have that warmth. Or you can wear it over a long sleeve shirt, you know, like a white shirt, um, white collared shirt. And it's a nice color. It's like this kind of really deep charcoal gray, uh, almost black, and it feels a bit heathered. It has some like white kind of threads going through it. I think that like, you know, you can dress it up, you can dress it down, it depends on what bottom you put on it. You can put it like a nice voluminous satin skirt and tuck it in with a nice belt and some jewels and dress it up or you can throw it on with some jeans and some loafers and dress it down. Then in addition to the sweater haul, because it's just sweaters, just alpaca sweaters, I'm telling you, you're going to love them. Buy one and you're going to love it. I also picked up these boots. I love these. I feel like an easy you know, um, leather pointed toe boot, never goes out of style. Like, I don't know, like I said, I'm not really big into trends. And I just think that this always looks so tailored and so uh, put together, even if you are wearing jeans, you know, you can just either tuck your jeans in or have them hang over the, the like ankle of the boots. But just the like sleek pointed toe in leather makes such a like nicely put together look. So that's my little share, my quick share from Everlane. Let me know if you are interested in any of those things or if there's anything else at Everlane that you love. I have a few more items from Everlane, mostly their sweaters and another pair of shoes. I think they're a really nice company, very transparent in the way they do business so you kind of like know what you're paying for and where things are made uh decent quality yeah that's it that's what came in the mail i just wanted to share that and i'll be back later with something else here on other luxuries thank you for joining me and if you enjoyed please subscribe bye